what's up everybody this is me ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial i'm gonna show you how to send a free sms using android programming in android studio using the concept of sms api or simply we are gonna create own application which send the sms to anyone for free so for this purpose first of all we need sms gateway provider and there are a number of sms gateway provider like binet bulk sms or for more sms gateway provider you can google it but in my case i'm gonna use txtlocal.co.uk is my sms gateway so let's start so first of all open your web browser and then uh, go to txtlocal.co.uk and then go to sign up a new web page will open and then provide your name over here enter the email address leave the business name blank and sign up with email a new web page will appear and go open your gmail account and check your inbox over there and there is a verification link click over that link Now you need to provide more general information over here. Here is your address. And provide your phone number. and fill the form with password and set the default sender number sms sender and click this checkbox and click on active my account after filling this form and click on active my account your account is successfully open in txtlocal.co.uk then you can use the service provided by txtlocal.co.uk is i make a video before this video about how to send a free sms using java c sharp and psp using the feature called email to sms now i'm gonna use the feature another feature that is sms api from the integration click go to sms api
and then go to API document. And after going to API document, click over send SMS over the left side of this web page and then click on send SMS again. And from this drop down menu, select Java. And examine this code. And see this uh, API code. Here you can see we need an API key, message, sender, and phone number. So that we need the various text field for API key, message, sender, and phone number. And obviously, we need one button because after filling all the field, we need to send the SMS just by one click from our application. So open android studio after opening the android studio go to file click on new and then click on new project and then provide the application name click next select phone and tablet click next select empty activity click next and then click finish now it will take some time to build the gradle of our application and we need to wait for some time until success in building the gradle of our project Okay, Gradle building process is completed. Now expand the RES folder and again expand the layout folder and double click on activity underscore main.xml file. Go to design and then first of all let me zoom it. And according to this API code, we need one, two, three, four text field in one button. So drag and drop for text field and on button now click each of these control and set the left one square white to match parent of each and every text field and then and set the letter underscore width of the button as well to match parent. Now change the text And set the hint your goods API and then her goods sender and her goods phone number. And then here goes message. Now click on view more activity. 
and then set set its max height ten and max line to ten. Okay, after doing these all things, set the ID of its text field, txt API here goes. Here goes txt sender. Here goes txt phone. And then here goes txt mass. And finally, the btn sent. Now go back to main on activity.java file. First of all, let me change the theme of this Android Studio because it is far more compatible to watch the video that have the white background in YouTube so there you go now let me zoom so that you can clearly watch it in every step now declare the button and text field over here edit text txt api txt message txt sender and then txt norm similarly declare the button now inside this onCreate method initialize or find each text field in button like this It takes find view by ID R dot ID dot txt API and similar process for all the text field. Now initialize the button as well. Btn send is equal to button find by id r dot id dot btn send. Now give the onclick listening event of the button dot set onclick listener new. Now we need to write the so go to the 
web browser and then uh, from this api.txt local.com slash docs slash send sms copy this code copy this api code to send the message and then go back to android studio and paste over here now we need to change the score little bit because we need to take the input from the user and pass to this input to this system so we need to take the api key from the user and store this api key in this variable so replace all these field txt api dot get text dot to string txt message dot get text dot to string txt center dot get text dot to string txt norms dot get text dot to string now after replacing the input go back to this api code and copy this nemesis file and paste over here now point the mouse over this code and press alt enter and comment this section of code comment this section of code this one as well now we need to show the message to the user uh, in order to show the message to the user in android studio we need to write this code tools dot make this null message is plus line tools dot length learn dot length underscore long dot so and here as well those dot make this null so that's it now in order to send the message we need to run this application and uh, select the connected devices i am uh, using the zeni motion is my virtual device so select zeni motion you can also run uh, your application in the built-in virtual device of android studio or you can run this application in your own android device phone Here we need to input the API key. So go back to 
and log in to your dxtlocal.co.uk account and after logging in this web page will uh, open and go to setting click on api key now uh, we need to create the api key over here click on the create new key and just click on the save new key we don't need to do anything over here because txt local .co .uk will automatically create the will automatically create the api key for you so copy this key go back to the android studio go to activity underscore main dot xml file and click on this api text field and remove the hints and paste this api key on the text area because it is too much it is far more difficult to enter this api key in our application so now run this application you can run this application either uh, in the built-in android studio virtual device or you can run this application in your own android phone or you can install a uh, third party a virtual device in your uh, personal computer i am using the version Gradle building now uh, enter the sender name phone number and message goes here and then click uh, we got some error in our application first of all change the text of this button is Send. go back to main activity to java file and examine the code from the top to bottom here we create declare the text field in button initialize the text field in button over here and we create the listening event of this button over here and copy this api code from the web page now we write this code over here to start make test oh i am extremely sorry here we should write this code get application context again here get application context now again run our project The error message uh, is ended dot need to go and exception. We got the exception error here. 
we got this error because either uh, you need to write uh, this API code inside the uh, thread we need to create one thread and we need to write this API code inside that thread or we can uh, strip the thread mode over here so strip mode dot thread thread policy policy is equal to new dot commit on dot build stick mode dot set third policy here goes parameter policy now run this application again You need to give the phone number or you need to input the phone number with the country code. Click send. Error permission denied. Oh, uh, we need to take the uh, internet permission because uh, we are trying to send the message over the internet. So uh, go to manifest, enter manifest.xml file. and over here use it permission just type internet and press enter now run this application again Here you can see the message is sent success now uh, we need to check whether the message is received uh, in that mobile or not so let me connect my PC to my mobile phone so There you go, there is one message <coughs> receiving my phone. So open this message and here you go. I sent this message and the message text is message. 
and the sender name is SMS sender because I set my sending uh, default username is is SMS sender so I receive my message from the sender SMS sender so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and give thumbs up and stay connected with this channel for new technical video and programming video in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so please subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video bye bye have a good day